Attention Pokemon players, today we're going over the new Single Strike Malamar deck, my personal favorite one prize deck um, in this format. So obviously we're starting off with Malamar Rapid Strike and his Rapid Strike Tentacles attack does 40 times damage for each Rapid Strike card you reveal on attack. So the game plan is get a bunch of Rapid Strike cards in your hand and then show a bunch of cards um, to do extra damage. Um, these cards these cards are twofold they're they're damage dealing cards and they're consistency cards so uh let's start off with the remoraid with the octillery um one uh rapid strike search just search your deck for a rapid strike card so you get at least one of these guys set up you get a rapid strike card search um you can jump in and get a karina's focus you can get a brawly um you can get tower of water uh, or any of the Rapid Strike attackers, which would be just uh, Malamar in this case. You could also get the Rapid Strike energy um, now, the special energy. Um, so all these cards kind of help um, do damage. Um, on top of that, we have a 3-3 line of uh, Manchino Chanchino um, to, do, to use his Make Do ability just to draw more cards um, so you can get rid of um, you know whatever you need uh, getting rid of the brunos uh, if you need to if you didn't get knocked out a turn or you could use bruno and then make do on top of that and then really just get um, a lot of cards you can go from having one or fewer cards in your hand and then hit it 10 in your hand easily and most of the time those are going to be your rapid strike cards um, we just got three energies uh regular energies four special energies two balloons for switch I like the Tower of Water over Path to the Peak because, again, it's helping you get those switch. And a lot of times in this game, um, you, you'll have a Octillery or something in the, uh, in the active and you need to switch instead of blocking with Path to the Peak. I think we're more focused on knocking out what's in front of us instead of um, disrupting our opponent. But that is the deck. Um, let's get into some gameplay. Looks like ADP, ADP running rampant. Oh my. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to do this. See, now this is when you want to do the opposite. If we would have gone second on this turn, no, knowing we were playing ADP um, with the Brawly, we might be in a good position, but we just caught that. So how is everybody's Friday going? Excited for the weekend? Uh, fourth, long 4th of July weekend? And the Mawile fail. We love to see that when we're on this side of the board. A lot of energy, um, what's it called? EXP shares. Getting ready for that team challenge. Uh, yeah, random dude, uh, Adam. Um, can't wait to see what you guys do. Uh, I, I'm very much rooting for you guys to keep going on and representing our local store and kicking some butts. Okay, so they didn't get Ultra Creation off. So what do, you, what do we think here? Do we think Bruno's the correct play? Do we think we just set up our bench and be fine? Because you would think they would be on Ultra Creation. I think what we do is just Brawly. Get a Remorite. I guess two Remorites? No. And leave a bench spot open. Do we need a bench spot? Probably not. Not with Inkays. Um, two Inkays down is fine. I think this is good. So just in case they boss up a Remorite, we're still okay. Um, we'll yeet away one Bruno. We'll get that. And I think we just chill. Okay, so then we'll get Ultra Creation off this turn. Nothing else though, which is pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, I think we just need to Bruno. Get that just in case. Machino. Yeah, and I think we're in trouble if we don't get a switch here on that. The thing is, <laughs> we don't have... If we had an Octillery, we'd be in such a good spot here. Not overly in love with this. Thin our deck out a little bit. We'll save this though for now, and we're just gonna unfortunately probably get hit. Um, not getting the gas here. Ultimate Ray though, not getting out those Zacians, which is huge. Use two prizes. We need to take knockout right here and there. Um, okay, so boss may be an option. Let's go ahead and see though if we have our Oracorio. Got our Oracorio. So needed him. We just get the boss. So what? How many we need? We need what? Um, 40, 80, 120. So we need seven Pokemon total. We're going to pull three, four, five. Hopefully get um, something else off of it. So I think we just don't need the boss. So we're going to make do this first, I think. We do find that. Get this. Do we Karina's now and then Oracorio? I think is what I think that's what we do. So we have two here. That's obviously a third, but we're not going to keep that one. So one, two, three, four, five. So we need two off of this Oracorio. Come on, luck. Wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, man. Did I sequence that wrong? Maybe. Uh, we just lose now. But. Oh, yeah. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're right. You're right. You're right. We got it. Um, yeah, sometimes it can be scary, but did get the knockout. Oh, thank you so much, Gumi. Um, have fun at the, the Goodwill run. Um, hopefully you find some good stuff there. Uh, thank you again for the lurk and the support you've shown to the channel and everybody else here too. Um, but did get the knockout on 
on there. Um, yeah, having that tower was, was good. I just didn't count it. Mislooked it for a second. Oh, yeah. Moving or donating a lot of stuff. Uh, moving is good for decluttering. Uh, yeah. Actually, that's. I wish I could do that too because I have a lot of stuff to potentially get rid of. Okay, so we can take this game here. What's the optimal play? What is the optimal? So we want to, for sure, get some stuff back in here. All rapid strikes. Get an energy off the table, because I think what we want to end up doing, and we'll pow pad, obviously. Um, at this point, we just want that. We'll get an energy here. And then we'll careen us. Cool, cool, cool. So that's what do we need here? Um, 40, 80, 120, 160. So we need five. So we've got one, two, three, four. Now we just need to make do for this. And yeah, we've we actually. Yeah, we just have the win now. We we oh well, well we need to do this. Yes, yes, yes. An Oracorio, an Octillery, drawing cards uh, like crazy. Yeah, and have have the knockout already. So let's not get greedy and even go further. Um, but just when this deck runs hot, it, it can do what you just see. It could just take things out. Obviously, we did get a little bit of help. ADP not going as fast as it would like to. We do have Bruno. Do they just knock us out? Well, we definitely want Mally. I think we just get Remoraid. Right? That seems correct. Since we're going first, and it's kind of a weird thing where you kind of hope they knock you out. So we can use Bruno. I think that's good. I could be wrong. And there's the boss. Taking out our ink, probably. Unfortunate. I don't think there was anything much that we could have done. So we're not in a position to take prizes. That does what? Um, maybe? Uh -huh. Go ahead and do that. Power. Bruno. Try to draw as many as we can. We do get some help here. And we're just going to retreat and get rid of this. Seems like that's all we can do. Again, this deck can struggle the first couple turns if you don't set up quite right. And they keep getting the dang boss. They're going to keep bossing up our ring case. So I uh, can't win if they just keep getting boss like that. Uh, pretty... If we had the... Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, well. That's all we can do. At this point, we'll do that. Pull this out. Get that. If we can get a stinking second Inke out there. No. What? I mean the bridge ball and Mario Maker. Nice, that, that's actually pretty cool. Um, pow pad. Do we need anything back out of here? Probably not. So we can go ahead and yeet pow pad away. I mean, we we're in such a bad spot right now.
we'll get a second ink out here and hopefully we're okay but uh those two early bosses really put us at a disadvantage we're not going to do anything there and again we're just going to retreat into the mew And we call it there. If they boss us up again and take out something else um, good on them. Okay, that's fine. Not really. Now they're just going to stall us. The air balloon on him is not a big deal because we got the power of water. And they're going to probably find a swell and bump it. If I had guessed correctly here. Path to Peak. We don't care about Path to Peak here. We, I mean, Oracorio doesn't like it. But if they have no way, we just bump it with our power. Do they get a second Blissey set up? Yes. Do they put there? So what? what's their HP? So they have, what, 250 plus... So they have 300. We could definitely do that. That's hard. We put you here. Random dude jumping into the raffle. Thank you very much for that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Bump you. that we don't have any more ink case so we're gonna bump this guy we're gonna use his ability here we have Mallys already Oh, I forgot the main purpose of doing that. Okay, so let's see. That's 40, 81, 20, 160, 200, 240, 22 more. And do we have them in here? I forgot if we did. We do. That was the main purpose of me looking through there and I forgot to do it, but it doesn't punish me. And go ahead and hit you if I did it right. 300 for exact knockout. So again, this deck, when it sets up, can hit super hard pretty consistently. The Machito don't need Ordinary Rod. Perfect. Definitely need that Ordinary Rod to get some Inkays back into our deck because if you missed it early game, they bossed, bossed two turns in a row to take out our first two Inkays while we were trying to set up. Um, really stalled us, but the potential for this deck's comeback is pretty big because of the um, one prize trade-off. Well, thank you for stopping by, Adam. I appreciate it. Good luck in the team event. Go ahead and rep our uh, local Pittsburgh area and take home another dub. But if you don't, it's we're all proud of you here still. Um, so have fun at work and have a great rest of the weekend, my friend. Trying to make your head and draw the back of the logo. Nice. Yeah. Oh, your logo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're a person on like. The when you like when the video first starts like yeah, on get, there get two in case yep get the energy back i guess i could have probably done that second so what we need so let's see we do this karina We create a first, and then we'll go ahead and chinchino away the chinchino. 
So that's what? Um, 20, perfect. 40, 80, 120, 160. So we need quite a bit here. Doesn't get it. So we're not going to take knockout this turn. Which is alright, we're still taking three, so if he does knock us out, we have the Bruno play. So we can be set up pretty good um, for the following turn. Um, if he talks out a knockout here, we're okay. Poke gears probably trying to find Ooh, okay, okay. Happy. Still have about three and a half minutes left on the raffle, so go ahead and put exclamation point uh, raffle space two. And we don't care how hard Blissey hits us right now because he's probably just going to kill us anyways. No big deal. Uh, we're not going to survive. Um, that does help them though with the potion, so they're completely full health again. Um, hopefully the Bruno in combination with Remoraid and Pinchino will help us get over the hump here. So we're just looking for, what is it? I always forget the math, but we go uh, 40, 80, 120. So we need seven. Is, yeah, we need seven energies or seven parts. So let's see. Don't need Brawly. So let's go ahead and uh, Bruno that away. Why we keep getting those bosses? Um, just the Pokemon. What's the best way to do this? We want to eat a boss. Don't need that. One, two, three, four, five. We need something off this. And do we get that? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Enough, but just in case my math is all, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And Make knockout, so it could really do a lot of work against these blissies here. Um, you would see, even though it tanked that hit and potioned up, we're still just doing enough math to completely wipe it out. Uh, overkill, I guess. Chew and active gives us the most amount of options. Call that a day. Although, letting him know that we're playing EK is not always the best. And look, at they got the Bidoof. It looks like we're playing against Calyrax, uh, Shadow Rider. Pretty good deck. Um, some might say it is the meta deck. And having that, not great. Go ahead, do that. Go ahead, do that. Get a remoraid out. Energy there. Do that. Get another. Getting our three NKs out there. Don't need any more, probably, for the most part, if we're to win this game. Yeah, and we're kind of in trouble because they're going to whorehouse us and then hit us. Um, so we'll see. I don't think the best of spots right now. Fog Crystal getting their bench set up. And we'll definitely be playing a little bit of Ice Rider or Shadow Rider Colorax today too. Have 
have this deck as well. Um, but the good thing about playing against this deck, even if they get us early, is we do have recovery options. Um, and we could last a little longer. Um, we lose to ADP because of the prize trade-off. So he just straight hits, and we could actually take knockout here. We're going to force through that. Get our Inke back. And then I think we just Bruno, even though we have a Water Rapid Strike already, we've, we're we playing greedy. We want to we wanna evolve. And we get that. This was, uh, didn't quite get it. One, two, three, four, five. So it's 40, 80, 120, 60, 200. We were just one short. Since we're short, I think we do that. And we get rid of this. We're going to save that just in case they come up and kill this since we're not going to be knockout already. Um, Going for the aggressive dig as far as, you know, for the max amount of damage, but we're still okay here. So you don't think they're gonna, we're not gonna be seeing Horror House. Um, Horror House, which stops us from using stadiums, uh, or I'm sorry, which stops us from playing cards, but we can still attack. So if they Horror House, we kill them. Potentially. No, we don't. But they don't know that. A lot of Shadow Riders. A lot of horsies out there. More Shadow for that stadium bump. The Dene, always a good choice for Dig. Um, of course, they want those energies, Polte guys, and they don't knock us out uh, because, yeah, we don't want to have that many trainers. So looking pretty good here. Let's go ahead and we're going to evolve, get ourselves a Chinchino. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to use Karina's and we're in a very, very good spot here. Go ahead and do that, and we will pull. Pull the stadium out. So let's see, that's 40, 80, 120. So we just need to take these three out so we can go ahead and make do to try to get a bigger hand size. So we already have knockout right now, it has a has a backup here. So we only need to do 120, right? Yep. So boom. So 40, 80, 120. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and evolve just in case they have some hand disruption and go ahead and hit for 40, 80, 120 plus 120 is 240, which is knockout. Perfect math there. So we're our in a really good spot here. Three prizes and they will have one taken. And we also have the Bruno. So if they do take knockout, we'll just Bruno and have a bigger hand size and be good to go. Here is the boss's orders. Doesn't take knockout. Crazy. And yeah, they'll just uh, concede because we had plenty of options to go. 
And there you have it. Just some gameplay to get a good idea of what the deck is capable of. Um, it could really take those big one-shot knockouts, and even if you're not taking those one-shot knockouts, you are still just a single prizer. So in most cases, you're just going to be um, you know, winning that race anyways, even if they take a knockout. You can respond back and take a knockout and get more prizes, and then just kind of set up once you get up and rolling. But I would like to know what you guys think in the comments, so um, let me know, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.